Hey guys, let's go ahead and do some long division with decimals. When I am trying to find the missing side length of parallelogram and I'm given the area and the base, I can divide to find the height. So let's go ahead and divide 5 and 25 hundredths by 29.4 or 29 and 4 tenths. Remember, decimals on the side, I need to begin by sliding that decimal. So I'll multiply 5.25 times 100 and also need to do the same with my dividend. Take that decimal point, now that I moved it, and put it on the roof. Now let's go ahead and use that long division algorithm. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. I can fit about five groups of 525 into 2,940. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 5 times 5.25. 5 times 5 is 25. Add that 5 there. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, and 5 times 5 is 25. Add that 1 from the 12, and that's 26. Next step is to subtract, finding the difference between 2940 and 2625. So I will need to borrow and regroup, and I'm left with 315. Remember our next step after I check is to bring down. So I'm gonna bring down the zero here and I can fit about six groups, just one more group of 525 into 3,150. And guess what? When I multiply six times 525, I'm given 3,150. So my answer, the quotient is 5.6. Now our next problem is a football stadium has a total of seats of 22,392 seats. And of these seats, 1,920 are VIP. The rest are di divided into 24 equal sections of standard seats. We need to figure out how many standard seats. So first I need to determine how many standard seats are, and I will begin by subtracting 22,392 from 1,920, which are those VIP seats. When I subtract, I will need to regroup in my thousands place, and I'm left with you got it, 20,472. Now, of those remaining seats, which are standard seats, I will be dividing those seats into 24 equal sections. So this is when I'm gonna use that long division algorithm. Remember what that is, everyone? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Or dad, mom, sister, brother, cheeseburger. 24 does not fit into 20 does fit into 204, I can fit about eight groups of 24, okay? So we'll go ahead and multiply eight times four, got it, 32, carry that three, and eight times two is 16 plus three. That will get me 192. I'm gonna do the next step, which you all know is to subtract, finding the difference, and then bringing down that next digit, which is a seven, now I have to figure out how many groups of 24 can fit into 127. Dividing again, multiply by five. Five times 24. Five times four is 20. Add the zero, carry the two, and five times two is 10 plus two is 12. I'm left with the difference of seven. I'll bring down that next digit, which is a two, and I know that I can fit three groups of 24 evenly into 72, which gives me the product of 72 no remainder. So my answer is 853.